Hi, and welcome to Kubernetes Service Meshes with Istio. My name is Leander Reimer, and I will guide you throughout this course. I'm a chief technologist working for Kuabe GmbH. This is a small software project house located in the beautiful sound of Munich. I'm a passionate developer and architect, and I have more than 20 years of programming experience. I'm an author and speaker at national and international conferences. I'm a total cloud native nerd. You find me on Twitter and also on GitHub. So let me give you a brief course overview. So this course is all about service meshes and in specific Istio. When you build modern cloud native applications built of microservices, you will quickly realize that there is a lot of communication concern you need to deal with, especially if you have polyglot environment like you see here. Maybe you build your microservices in Go or in Ruby or maybe in Java. So one option is you can well build all this stuff within your microservices or on the other hand, you can use a service mesh like Istio. So what will we learn throughout this course? In section one, we're getting started with Istio. I show you the basic concepts of Istio. We talk about how you can install it manually or using Helm, and we will deploy our first service to the service mesh. The second section is all about traffic management and routing. Here we deep into the service mesh, and I show you how you can do different roller scenarios, for example. The third section is all about service resilience. I show you how you can add circuit breakers and timers and retries to those communication between your microservices. Section four is about chaos testing. We will introduce some fault into our microservice architecture and we can see how Istio can help us with that. Section five is about securing the mesh. We will add security between two microservices using mutual TLS, for example. And in the last section, section six, we talk about diagnosability. I show you what you can do for monitoring, tracing, and visualization using Istio. So here are some prerequisites. First up, you need basic programming skills in any language, pretty much. A modern operating system you need on a computer, such as Windows 10, Mac OS, or Linux. If you plan to run everything locally, you definitely need decent hardware with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a quad-core CPU. You will also need Docker for Mac or Windows or Minikube installed. If you do not have this, then it's okay that you use like AWS or Azure or maybe GCP at Google to deploy all those examples. You need a code editor such as Visual Studio Code or any comparable and a terminal or a shell. So let's get started.